ladies and gentlemen we are back again Detroit Lions seven round mock is happening right now amigos all right so we're going to go through all their picks um like I said this is just my opinion you can disagree with me you can hate on me in the comments that's okay but this is my educated opinion in years of playing watching football diving into film on these college guys so let's get into it baby all right so, look in here. I'm going to go with something a little different than my first round mock draft. I think the Detroit Lions, Matthew Stafford, it's getting a little old, all right? I just think it's possible that they go QB right here. All right? I think it's very, very, very possible, especially considering how strong this QB class is. And I think it could be reality that they take Tua. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have them grab into it. That's what I would do if I was the Lions, but obviously the Lions are the Lions, and they're the Lions for a reason, and they're terrible. So they'll probably draft Jeff Okuda, but we're doing this from my perspective, so we're going to take two right here. All right. So keeping on going down the, uh, the line. Jerry Judy dropped a 24. That is not going to happen. Ooh. My goodness. All right. Some, got some pretty good players still on the board. Okay. Honestly, mm, it was hard. All right. I think I've I think I've made up my mind, though, with the players that are available. I think after they get to a Tago Bailoa, I think they're going to need somebody to throw to. Now, who I would have loved to pick right here in this spot was Jalen Gore. That man, I know he had a terrible combine. Let me tell you something. That dude is a burner. He's a burner in Madden. He's going to be a burner in real life. That's who I would love. But he's not here. So I'm thinking we go a little big body out of Colorado, LaVisca Chenault Jr. All right. So I also think we're going for a pretty good start. We got our QB. We got him a weapon to throw to. Now it's time to uh, turn on the defense. Hopefully, if uh, some of these guys are still there, we're going to hope uh, some of these uh, big names are still there. Okay. This is easy. This is the easiest thing I've ever picked in my life. Um, Damon Snacks Harrison, he's gone. They don't have any real killer on the inside. So we're going to... Uh, we get Raekwon Davis to uh, firm up that interior defensive line. I think when you look at defensive tackles, a lot of people, they just uh, try to get the biggest body that they can. I think it's important to get a defensive tackle that can pass rush as well. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe Kyle Duggar's still here. Oh, my goodness. Kyle Duggar's a beast, in my opinion. Um, that man's got the best dreads ever. He's a beast, too. But I think Kyle Duggar. Mm, I'm debating myself here. I'm thinking either Devon Hamilton or uh, Kyle Duggar. I'm going to take Kyle Duggar simply because we already had our uh, defensive tackle um, drafted. So I don't really want to, you know, double up right now just to kind of look and see who we've got so far. we got two in LaVisca, Raekwon, Kyle Duggar. Yep. All right, so right here, hmm, just kind of looking. Yep, I made up my mind. Um, this guy, I think he's kind of gone underrated, especially with uh, kind of the load this year, but he is out of Michigan State, and his name is Kenny Willex. And I think this dude, um, I think he could be very, very good. He's pretty explosive. He's got really long arms, and I think he'll be, uh, he'll be all right in the NFL. Definitely will stick around more than a couple of years, hopefully. That's the average uh since that's the average lifespan. So we will uh we'll see how it rolls. Uh like I said, I think uh honestly we're off to a super strong start. I think it's a line to get this. This haul, Kenny Willicks, Kyle Duggar, Raekwon, Laviska, Dan Tua. That would be insane. Don't know how likely it is, but like I said, that would be redonkulous if it happened. Next I want to see if this guy's still here. Yep. All right. 
I think this one is uh, pretty easy. I think this is another big body to pair with LaVisca. Another person for two to throw to. I think Antonio Gandy-Golden is a dog. He set so many records at Liberty. He is going to be a beast in the NFL. And I have full confidence in that. And that's why I'm going to pick him right here at 149 overall. Double up on round receiver. So now we got Tua. We got some weapons for him to throw to. We got a couple Davis linemen. We got a stud safety. I think we're uh, we're doing all right, boys. So I think next we look at this. I think uh, you try to firm up the linebacker spot. I've talked about uh, Shaquille in uh, previous videos. If uh, if Shaquille Quarterman's sitting here, I think you take him. And like I said, every simulation is a little different. So uh, we're gonna take Shaq Quarterman right here to uh, fill that linebacker spot. Look at our players so far. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven studs with a couple picks to go. So, I think we look right here. I think, uh, honestly, at this point, most of these people, you know, if you have seven rookies, there's not going to be a whole lot of spit. I hope there's not going to be a whole lot of positions to put these guys on the active roster. So, I think um, they'll probably go with a running back right here. And I think they're going to take Sawu Olu Noilua. All right. I just butchered Nate. I just butchered your name, buddy. But it's all right. I've got you getting drafted in the NFL. So you can go to the Detroit Lionesses right here. Moving on down the line, almost around seven. Almost. I tried to put it on fast for you guys so we could get you in and out, see your team's mic draft, and yeah, Lions might not have another pick. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh, yep, there it is. 235 overall. And I know exactly who I want if he's not off the board. Oh, no. Levert Hill got taken. That's not good. That's what I had my eyes on. Mm. Mm. Yep, I got my mind made up. I think the guy right here, um, we're going to go... For the Beast out of Oregon, we're going to go with Jacob Breland. I think he's a good possession catch tight end. He's not going to, you know, blow your socks off or anything like that. But good uh, good player, and we'll uh, we'll see how he produces at the next level. So, guys, as we sim up in that last couple picks, uh, Mr. Irrelevant, couldn't see him. But let's go over here just to give you a little review. Tua, LaVisca. Raekwon, Kyle Duggar, Kenny Willicks, Antonio Gandy-Golden, Shaquille Quarterman, Sawu Olonoilua, and Jacob Breland. Siwu, I hope you get cut so nobody has to read your name. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your time on to watch the video. And, yeah, I'll be looking out for more mock drafts on the way to come. We'll be pumping them out here in the next 15 days to get you set up for the, uh, the draft. You know, if it still goes on on April 26th, because coronavirus but <laughs> we'll see how it goes but you guys stay 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 safe stay healthy and uh stay classy much love adios